So in today's video, guys, we're going to be looking at the 30 best Fortnite pickaxes of all time. This is going to include the 30 best pickaxes we have ever seen. So we're going to see some tryhard pickaxes, some casual pickaxes, and even some free pickaxes as well. So make sure you guys watch all the way through to see what the 30 best Fortnite pickaxes of all time are. But let's get straight into it. We're starting this video off with the Vision Axe. This is an OG pickaxe that we have seen a lot of people using. It sort of works as a sweaty pickaxe and a mean pickaxe as well. A lot of people absolutely love this pickaxe, but I feel like it would be really good to get some edit styles for it. I know we don't really see too many pickaxes with edit styles, but it would be really cool to see some other color styles of vision added to the game. Let's move on to another OG pickaxe though, and this is the gold digger. This is one of the first ever golden pickaxes that was added to the game, and a lot of people absolutely loved the way this looked. It had a really clean design and a clean sound to it as well, which is actually a lot more more important to a pickaxe than what people think. Now that we do have so many other golden axes in the game though, I feel like the gold digger has dropped off a lot, but it still would have to be one of the best pickaxes of all time. Since we are talking about OG pickaxes though, we have to talk about the lucky axe. This is one of the oldest pickaxes in Fortnite and you can buy this for only 500 V-Bucks. The design is so simplistic, it is basically a reskin of the chapter 1 default pickaxe just with a little bit cooler of a design. I love the way this looks. I think it deserves to be a lot more popular and given a lot more recognition in the Fortnite community than it has today. But unfortunately, not too many people are using these OG pickaxes anymore. And that is because we have some really good brand new pickaxes like the King's Oath. This was added with the brand new Battle Pass Chapter 3 Season 3 and would have to be one of the coolest Battle Pass pickaxes of all time. The design is so sick. There are a lot of different edit styles for this as well. But the best part about this is the emote for this pickaxe. It is one of the coolest emotes I think we have ever seen, and a lot of people are sleeping on this in Season 3 as well. I love the design of this axe, though. The glowing effect that we have reminds me a lot of the Demon Slayer Blade, and we all know how good that was, so I think as more people do unlock this pickaxe, it is only going to get more and more popular. Let's talk about a big meme pickaxe, though, and this is the Hulk Smashes. Now, the only reason I'm including the Hulk Smashes on this list is because of the design of them, and of course, the fact that this this was one of the first ever Marvel pickaxes that we saw being added to the game. It is still really crazy to me that we have so many different crossovers from so many different franchises, including Marvel, and the fact that we actually have a Hulk-themed pickaxe is so insane to me. I think we do deserve a Hulk skin at least at some point in Fortnite now, but the Hulk Smashers pickaxe would still be one of the coolest additions to the game. Another really cool crossover pickaxe that was added in Chapter 2 is the Diamond Jack. Now, this isn't really a crossover with a big franchise, but instead with Travis Scott. But we also got a Travis Scott concert back in Chapter 2 Season 2, and we all know how popular that skin was. It only makes sense that we mention the Diamond Jack pickaxe as well. If this did get added back to the store today, I'm sure a lot of you guys would be buying it, but it is actually quite a rare pickaxe in Fortnite today. That takes us to the number 24 position though, and we have Catwoman's Grappling Claw. When this first got added to the game, I immediately thought this is going to be one of the most popular and best best pickaxes we had ever seen, but hardly anyone was using it. It actually took a few seasons for people to recognize how good this was, and now it is definitely one of the most popular pickaxes, especially in the Fortnite Pro community. So many people have been using it because of how clean the design actually is. It's going to work with all of your favorite skins as well, which is one of the best features for a pickaxe to have. Let's talk about a free pickaxe though, and this is the Throwback Axe. Now, we have seen a lot of really cool free pickaxes, but the Throwback Axe has been one of the most popular ones. This was literally the chapter one default pickaxe that Fortnite decided to add back to the item shop in chapter two. This was so strange. I did not expect this to be popular at all, but we saw so many people using this, especially with default skins. It is so insane that this actually became popular. And if you guys have been using this, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Another pickaxe that was also added in the same season though was the Phantasmic Pulse. Now this was added with the superhero skins. And at the time, this was definitely one of the coolest pickaxes we had ever seen. It had so much customization, which is something that we had never really seen at that point in Fortnite. And it was also a single-handed pickaxe, which is something we had never seen before. I love the design of this though. I think it is so, so sick. But unfortunately, it isn't really too popular anymore. A lot more people now do prefer the default design of pickaxes though. And that is why the Golden King was actually really popular during Chapter 2. This was a Battle Pass pickaxe, and this was actually designed for the Midas skin. 
The design is so sick. We have also seen some additional styles added to the game that are very similar to the Golden King. For example, with the Permafrost bundle that only came out a few months ago. I still think the original Golden King is the best. So make sure to let me know if you guys have been using this in the comments down below. Let's move on to the number 20 position though. And we have the Combat Knife. This was added during chapter two, season five, when we were getting so many different crossover items. The Combat Knife instantly became very popular and try hard though, because of how simple it is and it was also the smallest pickaxe that we had ever seen in Fortnite. A lot of sweats were using this because it does have such a simple design and I think that is why it was so popular. We don't really see too many people using it anymore again because it is a single-handed pickaxe but I still think the design is really really good. That takes us to the number 19 position though and we have the ACDC. This is one of the rarest pickaxes on this list. It was added with the first ever Fortnite battle pass back in chapter 1 season 2. The design is really sick, but I feel like it is only as good as it is because it is so rare. If this was added to the item shop, I don't think too many people would be buying it. But again, if you do own this, I really think it is worth using. That can also be said for our next pickaxe, which is the Stellar Axe. I feel like if the Stellar Axe was added to the item shop, we wouldn't really see too many people using it. But the fact that you had to pay over a thousand dollars in order to get it is why this pickaxe is so, so good. I really wish I owned this, but I'll Unfortunately, I could never afford to pay a thousand dollars just to get a few Fortnite cosmetics. So if you guys do somehow own this, I hope you have been using it. A pickaxe that is a little bit cheaper though is the crowbar. And that is because this was a free pickaxe. Yes, guys, you could get the crowbar completely for free if you did complete some challenges back in chapter one, season five. The crowbar has to be one of the pickaxes that I wish I had the most. The design is really simplistic and it's gonna work with every single skin in your Fortnite. Night locker. That takes us to the number 16 position though, and we have all of the katanas that have been added to the game. There are so many different katanas now in Fortnite, it would be impossible to name them all, but I'm sure you guys already have a favorite one. For example, my favorite katana would have to be Michonne's katana. It is just such a clean design, but the Demon Slayer Blade is also really sick, and we also got a brand new one, the Widow's Promise, in the Season 3 Battle Pass. I think the katanas would have to be some of the best design pickaxes we are ever going to see and there are definitely going to be more added in the future they do often tend to be quite expensive though so a pickaxe that is a little bit cheaper is the studded axe you can pick this up for only 800 v bucks it is a really simplistic pickaxe and it is known throughout the fortnite community as well as the quietest pickaxe we have ever seen that is why so many pros have been using it and i feel like that is only going to stay the same for the rest of the chapter another pickaxe that you can buy for only 800 v bucks is lobo's bow. Lobo's bow is one of the most creative pickaxes we have ever seen, not in terms of design, but the actual custom animation with this. It has one of the most simplistic designs from any pickaxe we have ever seen, but the actual design of the custom animation is so good, I knew I had to include it. We have seen a lot of people using this as well, especially in competitive game modes, so if this does ever get added back to the store soon, make sure you guys pick it up. Let's talk about a battle pass pickaxe though, and this is the Spellwork Scimitar. Now, we don't really see too many battle pass pickaxes staying popular in Fortnite for too long, but I feel like the Spellwork Scimitar is the exception to that rule. It was added back with the Doctor Strange skin in Chapter 3, Season 2. A lot of people have been using this in Season 3 so far because of how unique this is, and I feel like it will stay popular for at least the rest of the season. Let's talk about another really good pickaxe though, and this is the Driver. You can pick this up for only 500 V-Bucks, but I'm sure you guys already own this, and you will know how good this actually is. It is so simplistic. It's going to work with all of your favorite skins, but I feel like over the last few months, it just has started to drop off a little bit. We do also have another driver or another golf style pickaxe in the game, but I still think the original driver would have to be the best. That takes us to the number 11 position, guys, and we have the candy axe. Now, this is one of the best Fortnite pickaxes of all time, and it's probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list. The only reason that it isn't finishing up higher though is because of how expensive this was coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks. Although considering this was released back in Chapter 1 Season 1, this pickaxe has done so well to still be popular today. Another pickaxe that is just slightly better than this though, even though it is very, very similar, is the Merry Mint. I feel like we have to mention the Merry Mint on this list. It is a better version of the Candy Axe. It is a lot more exclusive and rarer as well because you had to go out and buy a 
code for this pickaxe. If this was introduced into the item shop or even as an edit style for the candy axe, there is no doubt that this would be one of the most popular pickaxes that we see today, but because it is so rare, hardly anyone is using it. That takes us to the number nine position though, and we have the trusty number two. This is one of the most OG battle pass pickaxes we have ever seen. The original design was so sick that people were even making this in real life. Yes, guys, people are trying to recreate the trusty number two for real life, which is so insane. The design of this is so sick. I really don't see too many people using it anymore though, because it is just so OG. And unfortunately, not too many people still playing were actually grinding back in chapter one. Let's move on though to the next pickaxe, and this is the Raider's Revenge. Very similar to the trusty number two, there aren't too many people in Fortnite today that actually own this pickaxe. It is so rare, it was released back in chapter one, season one, and you could only get this in the seasonal shop. So if you own this, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I feel like if this was added to the item shop today, not too many people would buy it. And it is only really as rare, as successful, and as sweaty as it is today because it is such an OG and exclusive pickaxe. So let's move on to a pickaxe that was released a little bit later on, and this is the Harley Hitter. We saw this added in Chapter 2 Season 1, and it has to be one of the best pickaxes from Chapter 2. The design is so incredible. I love this pickaxe, and I love the way it works with every single skin in my locker. A lot of people have been using this, especially in competitive game modes as well. So if this does get added back to the shop soon, make sure you guys pick it up for only 800 V-Bucks. That takes us to the number six position though, and we have the Gold Crow. You can pick this up in the Shadow Pickaxe bundle for 1,200 V-Bucks, which I think is really worth it considering you also get some other pickaxes with this bundle. The design of this is really good though. You guys are going to absolutely love it if you don't already own it, and hopefully it does get added back to the game soon. Let's move forward though to the number five position and we have the Leviathan Axe. This is a 1000 VR pickaxe that was added to the game in Chapter 2 Season 5. It has a custom animation, it has a built-in effect as well, and that is why this is one of the coolest pickaxes we have ever seen. It was extremely sweaty and tryhard when it first got added, but we don't really see too many people using it anymore because of how detailed this actually is. A lot of sweats do prefer the more simplistic pickaxes, but if you guys love the way this looks, make sure you pick it up the next time it's in the store. That's takes us to the number four position though, and we have the Star Wand. Now, this is probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list. It is one of the most popular and tryhard pickaxes in the history of Fortnite. You can pick this up for 800 V-Bucks, which I think is a really good price, but I think Fortnite definitely needs to add an edit style for this in the future, just because of how successful this has been. Make sure to let me know what you guys think of that in the comments down below. Would you want an edit style for the Star Wand? That takes us to the number three position though, and we have the Reaper. This has to be one of my favorite all-time Fortnite pickaxes. It is so iconic, and every single OG of Fortnite wishes they owned this pickaxe. I love the design of this. I'm so happy they decided to add it back to the store as well, because I did not buy it the first time it was added to the game. We don't see too many people using it anymore, though, because it is so big and bulky, but I still think it has to be one of the best pickaxes we will ever see. That takes us to the number two position, guys, and we have the Ice Breaker. The only reason the Ice Breaker is finishing up higher than the Star Wand and the Reaper is because of how popular this skin is in Fortnite today. It has very, very quickly become the most popular and tryhard pickaxe in the game. It looks so, so good and it's going to work with all of your favorite skins for such a cheap price of only 500 V-Bucks. So if you guys don't already own this, chances are you will be able to pick it up over the next few weeks. But finally, guys, the best pickaxe in the history of Fortnite has to be the Axe of Champions. There are two different styles of this pickaxe that we have seen in Fortnite now. We have the original one that was added back in Chapter 2, and we got a brand new style for Chapter 3, Season 2, and Season 3. The design of this is so sick. I love the metallic reflective style of it, which is the brand new style, but unfortunately, you have to be one of the best of the best players in order to unlock it, which means I am never going to be able to use this pickaxe. I still think it looks really, really sick, and if you guys do own it, I hope you are using it every single day. But there you guys go. That is my list for the 30 best pickaxes in Fortnite history. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And make sure to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pickaxe is. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.